But it's not always that straightforward. This is your window into my day on Monday the 15th of May. So what was being recorded is my heart rate in green, my activity in red in terms of steps, my respiratory pattern down the bottom in orange. You can see whether I was standing up, walking, running, whatever. Imagine now that you want to make a drug that has an effect on the respiratory system, some respiratory disease. What would you like to know? You'd like to know that your breathing got better. You'd like to know that you could walk more. You'd like to know that you were doing useful activities. You'd like to know you weren't having an adverse effect on the heart. And you'd like to measure as much of that as possible. This was done simply with a patch stuck on me. Normally, what would happen is you'd make a measurement at 8 o'clock in the morning, and you might make another measurement the next day at 8 o'clock in the morning. Look at the information that you're missing. Look also at the complexity of understanding what's underlying this. So this ability, which is now very much here and now in the digital age, to collect continuous data and to collect large amounts of data across different domains, is going to change the way we think about drug development in a clinic. Now, I want to now move to a, a demonstration. So, um, I'm the one there called Patrick. And you can see my heart rate is pretty rotten at the moment at 114. <laughs> what I'm going to ask is that the other five people who've got these on put their hands up. So here are some volunteers who kindly agreed to do this. And you can see their heart rates as well. Now, keep your hands up just for a minute if you would. What I'm going to ask is that you come down here and do some mental arithmetic for me. <laughs> uh, and I'm also going to see how good you are at knowing the capitals of Asia, capital cities in Asia. <laughs> So we'll do, it, we'll do it in a minute, one at a time. <laughs> in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, sorry, just, could you just put your hands up again? We're, we're not going to do that because it's too difficult. What I'm going to do is ask one of you to come down. In fact, I'm going to pick on you, sir. Which one are you on this? Which country are you? France. You're France. I'm going to ask you to come down in a minute. You don't have to leave just yet. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you to do the mental arithmetic. I'm going to ask you the question. <laughs> okay, you'll be pleased to know I'm not going to do any of that. Okay? <laughs> you begin to see how data becomes quite important in terms of understanding what's going on. You don't have to come down. Okay. <laughs> now... Back to me, if you look at the first, well, the first thing I was doing first thing in the morning was drinking too much coffee, so my heart rate went up quite a lot. I then walked, and that's the next peak in heart rate. I then actually am lying down between 9 and 10.30, that's the orange bar, and then after that I'm up and walking about again, and the other peaks in heart rate. So the question for you is, what am I doing between 9 and 10.30 on a Monday morning, lying down, <laughs> getting periodic spikes in heart rate? Who would like to have a guess? Somebody has to put their hand up, because I can't, otherwise I can't see. Who would like to have a guess at what I was doing? Yeah. Sorry? No, not thinking about tonight. Yeah. I'm having, I'm at the dentist's. And you can pretty much tell what is happening at every moment I'm at the dentist, and you can tell I don't like going to the dentist. 